All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, we're back here Thursday, 3 o'clock. Grandma Tanner, how many Thursdays you got left? Just, what, two? Two, maybe. No, one, because Thanksgiving. No, there's, won't do. there's two after that. Oh, there is? You sure? I think. Oh, the last day, the 30th is a Thursday. Yes. So, yeah, two more after this. I'm going to try to make apple dumplings. I'm going to try. That's I, I it's encouraging. Practice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's Thursday at 3. Back here at the Tanner's in our lovely uh, Grandma Tanner's cooking kitchen, a.k.a. our break room. Um, she will be making cheesy creamed noodles and using Mrs. Miller's garlic parsley noodles that we sell here at the orchard. And I think they're on sale, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. I'm Maybe. I think the noodles were on included in the sale. We're having our mix and match sale, so you can buy... You buy three, you get one free, and it's um, a whole bunch of products are included in the sale. You just have to look for the signs, the jams, the dressings, seasonings, mustard, salsas, and all that. So, all right, Grandma Tana, let's, what are you making here? Okay, first you make this white sauce, what, what we call a white sauce. And I put butter, a tablespoon of flour, and then a little bit of seasoning, garlic, onion, and salt. Yeah. And two cups of milk. All right. So you bring that to a boil, and it'll, it'll get thick. And, and keep stirring it. You just keep stirring it. What do you got back there in that pan? Those are breadcrumbs. I used about a half a, a fourth of a stick of butter. And then two pieces of bread and I toasted them okay. so they'd be all crunchy and then broke them up and now I'm just heating them in the butter so we will put that over the top all right. so this is getting a little thicker how's your noodles over here they're just about done I had about three quarts of water a 14 ounce bag of those noodles that we sell and brought it to a boil and then put, put them in there and, and cooked them for about 15 minutes now to get the so you don't run these noodles over or when you do pasta you put a little piece of butter in that water and it will not run over hmm. So this is this white sauce is getting thick. So what I do is take this off the burner and then add the Velveeta cheese. Now it's a half a pound of Velveeta, but if you like it a little cheesier, you can add like a little handful of cheddar cheese along with that. And this recipe, I know all these kids love cheesy noodles, cheesy macaroni. They like all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty thick. So I'm going to take it off and set it right here. This is one of my favorite things she makes for side dishes. Cheesy noodles. Yes, everybody loves these. And we use them a lot for potluck or whatever. So I have this cheese kind of broke up. You just put it in there and you keep stirring it. Those noodles are just about done over there. So we'll keep stirring this until this cheese all melts. It just takes a little bit of time to get this all chopped up and melted. Yeah, you know, just throw the whole half pound block in there, huh? No, it, yeah. It it's um it's better if it's it'll melt. Now they have a Velveeta cheese that has got a little zip to it. 
It's a yeah. uh, uh, nacho. It's, it's yeah, it's got nacho. It's a little um like a Mexican style cheese. Yeah. And I think that would be very good. This is just the I just use the regular Velveeta. Sherry, she's uh, getting into her locker, <laughs> trying to be quiet. So you just keep stirring that and... It just, yeah, see how the pieces are getting smaller? Softer. Softer. Now, if you had cheddar cheese, I mean, you could use cheddar cheese. And just, it would... You'd probably have to leave it on the stove, huh? No, I think it would it would melt. But this is getting real cheesy like. And if you want the recipe, it is posted um, in the post before this on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if you know this, but uh, we have a YouTube channel and a lot of uh, the Cooking with Grandma Tanner videos are on there. And where else did I see it? Oh, you're on TikTok. I am? Yeah, we put some up on TikTok. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea. I know. It's hard, it's hard to keep it's, up. It's, I just can't keep up with these young girls. All this well, stuff. I, thank goodness for Brenda. She lets me know what's what. I'm just a Facebooker. Okay, so the I'm going to let this continue to melt. And I'm going to check on my noodles over here. I think they are all done. How do you know? Well, um, they've been boiling, you know, like 10 or 15 minutes. And oh, yeah. the way I do it, I, I put one noodle against there and, and cut it. And if it cuts real easy, they're done. But it says to bring them, you know, boiling water and, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So, I have my colander over here, and I will pour it into there and drain it. Yeah, need a little help here. Get a few of these noodles out. Stick it over here. Back on the hot one. I think it's. I'll move it off there. Now, for you. now they, um, you can rinse these noodles with cold water a little bit, just run a little water over them. Does that help them not stick together? Or? Yes, that helps them not stick together. But I did have the butter in the water, and the butter or a little bit of oil also keeps the noodles and spaghetti and pasta from sticking together. So Jenny's helping me here. And we'll just pour them in this casserole dish, which I buttered. Buttered or pan? I, I, I put pan in it, yes. Thank you. But you can use butter or margarine or... Yeah, whatever, whatever you, you want. You probably use vegetable oil if you wanted to. Yep, you can. Whatever you got handy. All right. This is just about melted. So you pour this over the top and kind of toss it around a little bit. If your noodles are hot, it'll melt that cheese more, huh? Yes. And this, this recipe should feed about around 10. Unless I mean 12, 12 to 15 it says, but no. it depends on your teenagers. They will eat a lot. I make this for Sunday dinners here in September and October, and I have to make a lot of it. Yep. We feed our employees uh, dinner on Sunday night. We have fried chicken and lettuce and potato Vegetable. salad or green beans and 
or cheesy noodles when grandma has time. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of smash that because it's, it's really getting um, real soft now. So you just keep stirring this and then you pour it over those noodles and kind of stir it up a little bit. Now, if you're going to serve this right away, you put it in a 200 degree oven and leave it in there for maybe a half hour till it gets hot. I think we, we yeah, you put you. that. Yep. About 30 minutes. But if you're going to serve this tomorrow, which we probably will serve this to our employees for lunch, then you can, um, if it gets too thick, you can always add a little bit more milk. And then the bread crumbs, you put that on right before you serve it. Oh, Diane said she greatly appreciates Sunday dinner. <laughs> oh, good. I know. They work so hard for us. And Mary, Martha, and Emily, Richard's aunts, Grandpa Tanner's three sisters, started the whole thing many years ago when we were still up in the old market. We only had about 15 employees. And they said, you guys work so hard, we're going to bring dinner out for you on Sunday. So they did. They started that, and that's how the whole thing started. Now we are feeding about 90. Mm -hmm. And sometimes 100. I remember when I was little, um, the, uh, the migrants would make dinner or Sunday dinner on the last Sunday of October yes. and they would make those little, they'd put cheese and something else on the nachos and they'd put them in the oven and we knew when they were doing that we would just sit there and wait for them to get out of the oven <laughs> we'd eat them before they even were able to bring them out that's when you were just a little kid huh mm -hmm. oh yeah Emma Emma and Sylvia and Lucy they'd be making all kinds of goodies. I talked to Emma today. Oh, how's Roy doing? Well, he's getting there. That's good. Yeah. All right. Doing a little better. Okay, now I think this is melted enough. And we're going to pour this over these noodles. Want me to help you? Yeah. This pan has two handles instead of the one. Mm -hmm. It's really a nice pan to do this in. Sorry, guys. I'm not very good at the camera thing to begin with. And then I'm trying to look at the skillet. All right. Very good. So now you just lift this up a little bit and blend that cheese in there. Mm-mm. So I'll go ahead and put those breadcrumbs on there. It just dresses it up. And I have this little pan. It's a little, I don't know what. Copper. Uh, one of those little copper pans, yep. So you just put a little bit of this on there. I tell you, these employees would probably come in here and slurp this down yeah, right I now. Yeah, I say you should just put this in the oven. Put it in the oven for him. Oh, yeah. When we were open till 8, we're only open till 5 now, but when we were open till 8, those evening boys, mm -hmm. boy, anything that I cooked, they loved it. So, okay. That's our cheesy noodle. Cheesy so cream there you noodles. Go. Easy. So it's just some... Um, Mrs. Miller's garlic parsley. You can use any egg noodles, right? Any yes, egg noodles, or you can even do it with like macaroni, macaroni or yeah uh, noodles. Those twirly noodles, you can do, use them also. So you can look at the recipe on uh, post there on Facebook, and that's about it. And then we only got two more. Th Thursdays for Grandma Tanner because we'd have three, but Thanksgiving is one of them. So we'll be off the farm at uh, my older brother's.
place having Thanksgiving dinner. So there you go. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.